Oh, right, this is take three, amazingly. Right, good morning, evening, or afternoon. Right, I'm just going to go through the feedback from the last thing I sent. That tells you questions, and I'll try and do, do this every time on that forum so that we can keep a bit of um, dialogue going. They're all anonymous, so feel free if you've got anything on your mind, ask it. How do X-Men get their mutant powers? Right, this might rock some of your world. X-Men are fictional. They don't exist in the real world, so we don't have to worry about them. Number three is a really important question, because when you're doing your, your work, you can, it can lead you to think that you, you need to know what a three-prime poly A tail is and a five-prime cap. It's not in the syllabus. Look at your, your spec. If it doesn't say it, you don't need to know, you don't need to know it. Uh, so, so Also, can you... Can you write some notes for the process of prokaryotic transcription and translation? The thing we did in class is all you need to know. That is it. If I if I wrote some notes for it, I'd be I'd be really wasting time because it's just it's you know they they are simpler than you karyotes and therefore they don't have to splice and they have simpler ribosomes. That is it. Um, and the actual note making is your job. Okay, it's. it's um, you know, that's the learning process from from what I'm going through, cobbling it together and forming some kind of coherent notes is what you what you should be spending time doing. Um, that's good. More questions like number six. I'll, I'll give you some more questions in the next one. Um, all good. Cause of mutation. Yeah, again, um, all you need to know is that well, so far, a mutation is a change to the sequence of the DNA caused by ionising or high-energy radiation, carcinogenic chemicals. It can happen by chance, and some viruses can also do it. Okay, um, the mechanism of how they how it how ultraviolet light causes findings to bind together is not on the syllabus as well. It's just giving you an explanation as to why it happens. They're not going to ask about specific examples, so you're okay for that. Right, let's go back to the questions that you've done. Um, scroll, scroll to the top. That's good. Right, so number three, where does transcription take place? Everyone got it right, it's brilliant. Nucleus, good, good settler. Um, explain why the genetic code is described as non-overlapping. So this first one says, each code is read in threes from left to right. You can't read in a different order. Yeah, perfect. Um, next one, the bases present in one codon are not present in adjacent codons. Incorrect. An, an examiner would read that as literally, the bases present in one codon, like AUG, are not present in the next codon. Well, I can have AAA, so therefore the bases are the same in the next codons. So, yeah, not the, the best answer. That one, I know what you mean, but the wording means it, it wouldn't get a mark. Um, each success is basically... Th base triplet is read in order, separate from the triplet before it, before and after it. Correct, yes. Again, I just talked about codons. Yeah, Codons is non-overlapping because it's read in codons, separate codons. The ribosome moves from codon and then advances to the next codon. Uh, number five, where does meiosis take place um, in animals? Well, again, meiosis and mitosis, similar words, you need to get them right. Um, and you need to spell them correctly as well. So meiosis is about making sex cells, gametes. So skin, no. Bone, no. Sperm cells are a product of meiosis, so no. So well done, the How many of it? Eighty-three percent of us. Yeah, testes. Yeah, in animals, males, it's testes. Brilliant. Six. Give the tRNA anticodons that would bind to mRNA coded for by this DNA sequence. So I've got a DNA sequence G. A T T A C. If we convert that into mRNA, it would be C U A A U G. So this one, this person's put the mRNA code. So the people underneath have got it correct. Yeah, it's G A U U A C. It's the same as the DNA, apart from the T's are converted into U's because the DNA calls for mRNA, and then the tRNA is bind to the mRNA. Okay. So um, hopefully you'll progress onto the videos next. Again, as you are, as you watch them, you know, pause them, make notes. It's up to you to kind of make notes on what meiosis is. 
and then the cause of variation. It's the most technical bit that we're really doing. So it, it is tricky. And next week, I'll go through that in a bit more detail and, and give it a bit of a recap. So that's it for now. Take care of yourselves.